Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever do that again. another big haul and here I have I think seven new petticoats and I think I'm worried because the package is big but not big enough we'll see about that and also I have a guest this is Matilda she's my editor she's doing an internship with me here and so she's filming videos with me now yeah and you love hauls yeah I'm so excited I feel like it's Christmas it kind of is yeah. This is January that we are filming this and there's a few Christmassy things in there. So we'll keep this for later and maybe let's do the open things already okay. and then you can open after. Yeah. So this is a Pusheen mug that I got from my friend Emily for Christmas and it's so cute. She said it's not exactly mint, it's kind of a bluish mint but I love it so much. It's my new favorite mug. And then I wanted to show you some Christmas cards. This is my card. Uh, I wrote over 55 cards personally written this year and it took me the whole month it's so long but yes <laughs> and some of them I, I posted them like the 22nd or something I started early in December and then I did not find time and I finished them super late and I got one from Shoko no Kecha from Finland yay that's so cute and we were together at uh, Lotuses of Green Gables this is where she took the photo with her husband at the tea party and then I will show you this Disney like mini macaron pin I guess that's too cute it's too cute it's from Castle Creations and Co on Etsy and I bought this at a anime convention that's the only thing about the, this last anime convention I was like very happy that I only spent five dollars on a pin <laughs> and not like hundreds so that's good I usually buy pins that I can wear so this is perfect for me so maybe I will keep the fluffy Tory new amazing things for later and we start opening packages so you pick one and you guess what's in it. I have to guess? Yeah, and don't show my address. I will put it. Blur. <laughs> ah, blow. Yeah, of course, I know. That was to test you. Yeah. <laughs> a blouse? I, I have no idea. Okay, it's not exactly a blouse. Many things okay. are about at the same person and so oh. I'm excited. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, whoa. I think there's at least three things. Yes. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Uh, my latest dress uh, from Fluffy Tori is rainbow, so now I'm obsessed with rainbow stuff. I did not before and now <laughs> I'm buying so many. So do you know uh, that I love pom-pom earrings and I'm wearing a lot of pom-pom earrings? And so now I have rainbow pom-pom earrings. <gasps> they're amazing and they're huge. I love them, oh my god. You know I have so many rainbow things that I could like give you because... Uh, you don't wear no. them anymore? No, no. Yes, please. <laughs> So the first day of her internship, uh, she said, oh, I want to uh, see your studio. I was like, oh, I'm actually moving soon. I sorted a lot of things. I know what I, I wanted to donate. And I said, oh, do you want this? Like makeup and and what else? Jewelry. And I, I so gave you so many things. Even so. pins and too many pins. Kuma Craft. The box is so, so cute already. Oh, I forgot about it. The box is very cute, but it's actually an Android pretty ring. But she, she gave me a cute box. So oh. I have many dresses that have uh, pearls in it and it's actually openable how to say that size adjustable. Ring. adjustable thank you i'm a bit worried because it's so thick and i'm worried that it will get scratched mm. on things because it's actually printed on top of it but it's gorgeous and the quality seems amazing thank the box is so cute but it's not for maybe but puma craft i don't know what this is but the box is so I will cute search it later i'm curious yeah so there's another thing oh i remember now <laughs> it is big. I don't know where it's oh. from. If it's handmade or something. It's fancy and it's rainbow and it's perfect. I think Eden would love this. Oh yeah, for sure. It will be so pretty with the uh, rainbow parade. I love resin stuff. It's kind of heavy, but it's very beautiful. Okay, okay and I'm this ready. I'm so excited about. Okay, this looks so amazing already and I don't even know what it is. So this is a peignoir. In French, peignoir means the thing that you wear out of the bath, like, you know. Ah, like, oh, peignoir! Peignoir! Wow! But in J fashion, it's kind of the same shape, but it's an, like an overdress or something. Oh. But it's from Prismatic Pastel. I'm already in love just with the label. It's kind of a, just an overskirt that is long, kind of. But <laughs> amazing it 
yes oh my god i'm so excited so it will be perfect with the rainbow parade and other things so i used to have nothing rainbow and now i have so many rainbow i'm excited about this i'm so excited to wear to do a furry k uh, outfit probably so this are both second hand from mindy uh next package oh i know what this is okay actually what i'm shocked is it's so big so it's yeah. uh, angelic pretty necklace that i oh. bought and the girl could not ship to uh, switzerland so she shipped for my to my friend in the us and i guess she both of them over packaged it i don't know how it's a flat angelic pretty necklace so i don't know why it's, it's so big it's so well packaged oh my god it's my dream necklace super rare colorway of an angelic pretty necklace and it was only in the US store. It's not like I'm exploiting her, it's just she loves gold. So <laughs> tell me if you don't want to do this. I feel like, um, give me my packages. I love to do this. <gasps> No way! And it's Louis style. This is a very famous necklace from Antiquity, but this is the special American colorway that I was there for the reservation I could never buy online. And it's the mint and pink version. I love it so much. This is one of my first, maybe my second Antiquity acrylic jewelry. I love big necklaces because usually I have very yeah. busy dresses, so if you want to notice it, it needs to be big. <gasps> I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Karin. So it's actually my friend from film school this summer that accepted that I shipped it to her and shipped it oh. back to me. So she's so nice. Thank you so much. Let's do Bruno Bellamy now. Every month I'm unboxing my favorite artist, Prince. I'm in his TP that is like Patreon. And for Christmas, we have even bookmarks, extra ones. I'm excited, bookmarks. And okay, so this one, I cannot even start to show you, impossible. <laughs> uh, maybe if I put my whole hand on it and this one is a christmas uh print and it's gorgeous so two more things Ooh, this one is very excited uh, do you know what this is no. should i know what it is i don't know it's a calendar ah Ooh. okay and we got two prints oh my god okay show the prints first so it's my other editor that used to edit the videos and now she's only doing the ah uh, okay Thanks, yeah. Tina, uh, Snow Priestess. She worked on this gorgeous calendar and we have two prints. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Started. So is it like uh, three people maybe? Uh, it's a collab calendar for 2023 with so many Lolita artists. Mm -hmm. And so maybe it's only three Lolita artists. Let's see. Ah! Okay. Luminous, Velvet Syrup and Snow Priestess. Okay. So we have all this art inside. I am so excited. I usually love to support projects like that and Lolita art. Not that I use calendars because I use Google calendars and I won't write things, but I love to have wow. cute designs. Oh, and I love that I have extra designs around it. This is a cool idea. Summer International Lolita Day and Misa Kosaoki birthday. Oh my God, this is so cool together. I guess my goal now is to be famous enough to have my birthday in this. Yeah, so cute. Good, so I'm excited about this. Okay, so these are clothes, but maybe less interesting and then i'll show you the cool fluffy stuff and then we'll unbox the seven petticoats it's oh pink. socks it's kind of like the pink jerike so for winter i have those super comfortable socks but they're so ugly there was a pack with mini and so some of them are blue and gray and some of them are pink and gray but the rest are black and gray and but if you know where to buy super thick cute socks let me know i don't know they're cute i guess even though it's not your pink. Yeah, it's not my pink, but like I said, it's on my feet. Usually you won't see that. It's mostly for being at home and not making cords on anything. It's just to have cute things. That's fine, I guess. There you go. Yes. So this is from AliExpress. Too much paper. In the previous video, I used to have like velvet tights. I could not find a velvet tight that was pink. So I bought a velvet kind of leggings. And then I bought a white one because I wanted also a white one. But how thick it is. It's huge. I'm afraid it will be so, so big or so thick. I don't know, but it's huge. But I'm excited. It has pockets as a legging, which is cool. I don't have a dress to make a cord with. Oh my god, you have to buy again. 
It's real a bit. Oh my god. Okay, I thought it was not velvet inside. It is. Oh my it's god. so soft. This is a real pocket where I can put stuff in here. For some reason, put a fake pocket. Why would you do this? It's so stupid. It will be uncomfortable for no reason. Why do you do this? But real pockets is good. Sometimes they've only put the fake pocket and not the real pocket. Yeah. So at least you have a leggings with pockets, which is good, I guess. I will see how good it is. is. It? like stretchy we'll see honestly and with things like that i'm never sure about the size it looks tight yeah you never know sometimes i wear yeah. l sometimes i wear 6xl you never know so in fluffy story i'm wearing m so size is so weird yeah you just need to know your measurements but when it's stretchy it's different so i'll try that because i really needed a white one because i feel now that i'm wearing lolita every day i kind of live in these velvet tights I need more, so I need to do the washing less often. And so I just bought this one and I just bought another. Should I get two of the same thing? So if this doesn't work and it looks comfortable, I might buy a bigger size if there is. Mm. Oh, it actually fits, but it's so, so tight. I actually like the pockets, but I can barely lift the legs. It's completely different compared to the other pink one that I have. I don't know if it's just too tight. I'll see if I can get a bigger size, but if not, I think it will not be comfortable at all. Another white that is not good okay so i don't know if i've shown this yet so this is the new collection special little snowflake i i think <laughs> don't even know the name of my collection this is the idea of making jewelry to go with all the snow globe dresses that exist already and so we made earrings and rings i mean charms to make earrings and rings that are easy to make and that but the goal was to make real looking snow globes for next we ordered some shakers with glitter and it was completely covered in glitter because first of all like there were too many glitters and also it would stick to the thing so it was ugly because you could not see the inside so that was sad so it was already late and i was so depressed but i decided to order a second round of samples and so now i have like six or seven different options <laughs> for that and i have many of them because sometimes the minimum was three so we have the version with no just way. what just realized it. What? Did they move? Ah! The goal was to have things inside that moves. <laughs> so this one have small acrylic pieces inside. It's too small and too shaky. So this is not the best option that we will uh, do. They're like keychains. So either I will sell them as keychains or I will maybe turn them into necklaces and some will be different, but my goal was to find the perfect solution and then make a lot of necklaces. Oh. You've not seen them. Okay. So another option was to have, I, I won't do it here, but you can open it and lift it. And I bought some things to put inside. So I have the fake snow. Okay, this is my new favorite thing. Oh my God. <laughs> And I have two uh, kinds of like tiny beads. And so these have tiny beads. It's pink. I need this one. Two with tiny beads, but also the beads, we have the same static issue that uh, the beads stay dark at some places. So I don't like that that much. This one with the fake snow, I like it very much. I don't you know which one is your favorite. Then that's the ultimate version, but way more complicated. So they have glitter sand in it. So already like this, it's kind of fun, but especially ask that they put only one eighth of the size in glitter and now it's almost covered in glitter yeah. and so it's like a third or something. So it's too much glitter. So there's always a film on it that you remove and because it was so wet with all the liquid that we put that happened. You remove that after that. The whole thing about this one is that it has a hole. You put liquid in that and then the glitter falls. But this white glitter actually becomes transparent. So this is a bit sad, it's only glittery and not white anymore. So I made another option and I found these kind of 
snow thing that I had for making snow globes out of Fimo. Mm. And I added to this one and I think it's better. So I kept a few of the glitter. It's so falling. it's slowly, slowly falling. And so I think this is the best option because it stays white and it looks like snow. And I tried to put also this fake snow in, but it also becomes transparent and it's, it's useless. So this one is good because it stays white. But the thing is, the way the hole is made here it's very difficult I have this pump to put but usually you should put it like this to to fill it but now I put it like this and so the way it's made to fill I kept having the oil everywhere it was so complicated and really really annoying I don't know it took me ages I mean it was trial and error for first but also adding all these in the small, small hole and I did not have a small enough thing. I don't know. I think it took me two or three hours to do these two. <laughs> then it would make me have to sell these necklaces for so much. But isn't it like the best thing ever, ever that your necklace is actually a real oh. snow globe with falling snow? I think it's gorgeous. It makes me think like my best friend loves this kind of stuff. And okay. a necklace that would be such a good gift idea. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Now, let me show you also the string that we have for the necklace. So I have to move the light to go in the thing, so I'm sorry if it's different now. So the chain is gorgeous, so it's a pearl with tiny hearts in pastel colors. And we also have the pearl with stars, mm. gold stars in it. I'm not sure how I will make it, if you guys can choose the chain or not. Maybe I'll make a lot of chains and then when you buy your necklace, you choose the chain and uh, attach it to the necklace at the moment. Maybe that's the easiest way I think way it would be such a really good idea if you do like custom version. I think that's easy for yeah. me to have many chains made and attach it at the last minute. Yeah. The thing is, now it's mid-January and we finally just released received this like two days ago I tried to make the, the sample I'm very sad that it's late for winter slash Christmas but also I feel as a Lolita this is something that would work with a lot of dresses in my wardrobe and even if I had seen this in summer I would buy it because I know that the next Christmas and winter season I would still need it so for me as a brand owner it was more important to have the perfect thing that looks like I wanted than actually just oh my god we need to release this it's ugly I don't care so mm -hmm. I wanted to make more samples and I think I'm happy now with this and all the try and errors and I think that you guys will appreciate this more because it's such a better product than the first one and now I just have so many <laughs> and so I just don't know what to do with these and I tried to sell them already at conventions and we'll see slowly the world they will go but I think those will be way more pretty, but way more expensive also. So yeah, I think these necklaces will be around $60 because it's so much work for me to remove the glitter, add this new glitter, add the liquid, seal it. And I think there's a plug here, but I would honestly not be confident to wear something just plugged like that on my dress in case it would fall and put a lot of liquid on my dress. Mm. So I want to seal it again with epoxy to make sure it's really safe. And then I have to build the necklace. So it's maybe two hours at least per necklace of work. This mm. is why it's so expensive. Yeah, I'm happy we found the chain. Uh, at first we wanted to do even more details, like remove some of these beads and add more. We bought like snowflakes charms and it made the process even more complicated and the way mm. the chain is built is not as easy as the other necklaces I'm making myself. But these were so not made to look good and to change easily so we decided that the chains are pretty enough to just be like that and i think it's it's really cool and the main attraction of the necklace will be that you have the scent that falls and it's really cool and i think this is the best i'm very excited about this collection i don't know if i will do a pre-order or just make some and sell these and also i'm afraid that if we do a kickstarter we have like 50 orders and i cannot do that so i'm mm. not sure if you want to comment how i should sell these necklaces i'm tempted of just selling them on my insta stories and uh, that will be enough, so I don't know. I'm so happy with this collection. Mm. We have the, the stickers also, and 
it is so pretty that I want to make a dress out of that. The idea was to make accessories for dresses that already exist, but now they're so pretty I want to make a dress also. Okay. <laughs> and now that we have a person to help with production with fluffy dresses, that will be easier. Uh, this is now two hours later. We were going to film other videos, that's why I'm different. And the mail came and two new big packages. So let's open it. Yeah. Especially because this one is from Eden, but I don't know what it is and it this is liquid, the liquid <laughs> I'm so confused and this is Mezzo's t-shirts that I'm sure that you will love. So let's unbox it all together now. What? So this is clearly liquid. There's many Christmas gifts. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, what? What? Oh. Sorry for your ears. He says sorry because the package is waiting to be sent for a month. This is this is such a surprise then. Thank you. Oh my god, okay. Oh! Oh wow, thank you so much! Box is so cute! It's Hello Kitty! I'm really curious about the liquid though. So, this is, I guess, cookies? I was curious about, does it have like a Hello Kitty shape? Okay, we need to open it. <laughs> so it's, just, it's just basic cookies? That looks delicious. What the hell is this? <laughs> Armagnac. At some point, I thought maybe it's a Hello Kitty uh, bottle. Uh, they, yes, they have I wine know. and everything. Whoa, oh my god. Let's be drunk. Thank you so much, parents of Aiden. I'm excited to try. Not tonight. Okay, now let's unbox the Mezzo stuff. There's too many stuff. Mezzo is the artist of Fluffy Dory, but she also does her own art and her own product. And now she does a lot of conventions. So she wants to sell also the Fluffy Dory pins that she designed. So we do a lot of trades. This this time she said, I can give you t-shirts in, in exchange of t uh, pins and stickers. And so I placed my order and she shipped it directly to me. We have the Be Gay Do Crimes in the pastel goth colorway. You have the, mm, the patriarchy fairy K colorway. This is the, mm, the patriarchy pastel goth. This is the Be Gay Do Crime in the fairy K colorway. And I have all sizes from S to 2 XL. This is vintage Otome colorway. I will not list that on the website. It will only be at conventions. So if you want it, you need to uh, message me. I have the hoodie in black and there's nothing in the front. This one is awesome. I think I have two hoodies, two pink and one black. I love this one. It's my favorite. Okay, it's so beautiful. back to the regular haul that we did two yeah. hours ago. Okay, so now let's go to the seven petticoats. Oh yes. So question why did i buy seven more petticoats <laughs> three reasons first of all uh, at convention we sell a lot of dresses people don't have petticoats and they want to buy petticoats and usually the petticoats that i'm wearing are super expensive and too expensive to sell. And it's in part for you. But she wanted to buy a petticoat, Lolita petticoat, and Eden sent her link to the Aurora and Ariel actually on AliExpress. And I checked my video where I calculated where to buy this petticoat and the shipping and everything. And actually the shipping is very cheap or free and the petticoat is more expensive. If you compare to my video where I compare the shipping to all of it, the total is actually very affordable. So actually buying Aurora and Ariel on AliExpress is a good option. And I'm not sure I got one from Aurora and Ariel, but that got me thinking. I was to this shop on AliExpress and I saw they had many petticoats and they were quite affordable. And so I thought they look good petticoats. So why not having an updated petticoat video because my other ones is at least two years old or three, I don't remember. Since then I bought many other petticoats that I wanted to add. So if I have three more, it's stupid to make a video, but if I have 10 more, it's good. And so I bought enough to update my video with new options that are cheap. And also it's from AliExpress, which is somewhere where I have affiliate links. So if you click on the links and buy anything from AliExpress, I get a small commission. So that helps my channel. So it's perfect for everybody. Like I will test them for this updated video and then sell them at Fluffy Dory on the booth. People who start Lolita at our booth will have cheap 
pretty good you option know? to buy. And also it looks good on the picture, but I'm not sure it will be good. So let's hope I did not spend all my money for nothing. Oh, I forgot that one is black actually. Some of them are really bad. If I had seven like these ones, that would not fit. So let's keep this one for last because it looks like the best. Let's look at the ones that looks like the worst, like this one. I will try to put the links in the order that we show it so you can know which one it is because I don't have names or anything. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> this is the worst petticoat that you can ever get. It's even worse than the other one that I had from <laughs> Wish or something. It's so scratchy. Oh. Some people said that it might actually damage your dress and I believe this would actually. Lowly times. Well, no. I mean, because it's so stiff, it might hold a dress, maybe. But it's so the worst lace possible. I will do the whole petticoat video again. So look for all the review about this. So this is a crinoline. And these two seem exactly the same, even though I bought separate items. Let's open both. Actually, the other one, I'm not even sure I can sell it for even the price that I paid it. You paid it how much? Maybe 25, something like that. 25? Maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. I'll put the price. Okay, so this one's not bad, actually. Oh. Okay, this is cool. It's the exact same one. I feel like. Do you have a label or something? No. This is the exact two. same. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. okay, they have two layers and another one of tulle and then the cotton lining. It's a very good petticoat, I think. Mm. Also, several layers of ruffle to make a good poof. I think it's a very cool petticoat. For sure. Not like the poofiest, but this is a good quality petticoat. Mm -hmm. So, yay. These two are crinoline. Wait for it. <laughs> Don't ever do that again! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Are you okay? No, I I'm saw so my whole life pass- Oh my god, Jesus <laughs> I am so sorry! I'm confused to why is it only covering the top? Yeah. Normally it's good to have that layer to make it that you don't see the arcs too much. And it doesn't look like it's adjustable or anything. I had another crinoline from AliExpress that was very uh, straight and this one is very cupcake. So it's good. But also it's weird it looks like. Yeah. Here and then straight straight and poofy here. We'll try all of that. Then video. this one that I'm going to open. Okay. <laughs> Wait what? Yeah, you need to. Oh ah, my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, putain! Ah, this one is okay. The lace on top is not the best, but that's fine. But it's, it's the same length. They have two on the two rings? Okay. And it's all covered. I mean, it's not even covered, it's actually inside of the mm -hmm. petticoat. It's definitely a good poof. What? <laughs> I never thought I would be scared about the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put a, like a trigger warning if you're afraid of opening petticoats? <laughs> this looks like a very good proof actually. Yeah, even okay. though I'm scared. You know if you have like one big thing, like for example I have a circle like that with fabric for photography and video and then it's easy, you can turn it back in an eight and then it's small. But with these petticoats, the fact that they have several concentric circles, I never managed to roll them all together again. If you guys know how to do this, tell me because the one that I had was always open because I could never actually roll it back. Yeah, we have two more. Tell me from the crinoline. Those are not. Oh, oh, I like this one. <gasps> Ooh, this is perfect quality. Yeah. Also, those might not be very plus size friendly. We'll see about that. But we have one layer and then tool and then a nice lining that is longer than a tool, so the tool will never touch your dress. It's interesting because it's from Lolly Times again. These times it looks way better than the mm. other one. Yeah. So that's it's weird. But it doesn't look as poofy as the other ones that we had and it looks long to me actually mm. we'll see all that and this one i think it's an aura in ariel but i'm not sure and it's confusing because it says 16 and 20 but it's 20 something and 16 meters can she be afraid of one that is not even a pedicure? <laughs> uh, crinoline? Yes, it's the Aurora and Ariel. 16 meters of fabric, so it's already super poofy. And it was kind of affordable. And they have black, they have white, they have rainbow. I don't remember why I took this one. Was it the only option for this size they had in stock? I personally would ever wear that skirt. I love it so much. You it's can helpful. actually, because it's mm -hmm. well made. Do you know Renova, the BB&B Deco that I had. Yeah. They also have a clothing brand that is called Ronova. They're making
make petticoats that are so pretty that you could even wear them as skirts. It's made for that. And also they have built-in bloomers inside, so that's really okay, interesting. Okay. Since I have now my uh, Aura and Ariel petticoat, it's my favorite petticoat. I will not go for any other brands soon. I love this brand and I think it's amazing. It's definitely worth its price. It's very cheap for the quality. Yes, because I have other petticoats that are way more expensive and mm. not as poofy and not as good quality or that the sizing was off. Maybe fine. on uh, AliExpress you cannot get the custom sizing, but since I bought mine on Taobao, you can ask and for five more dollars they make it to your measurement. Because this, the normal size is a bit tight and not plus size friendly. I won't say soonish, sometime, maybe it will be next year, <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I will make a second Lolita Petticoat video because it takes so much time to actually do the research, like taking all the photos and measuring the poof and trying with all the different dresses. We'll see. And just so you know, if you are a patron or a channel member of my you have access to the spreadsheet with all the data of all the petticoats that I've tried Then you can see the link to buy it, the price, the actual sizing that is mentioned on the website And the actual sizing that I measured myself and I rank them by poof level, we also rank them by uh, comfort Everything you find in the video, I have all the data in a spreadsheet that helps you And also all the photos worn and everything So if you want to have access to that, consider uh, being a patron or a channel member And it starts at I don't remember. Do not wait for it. Click! Click! <laughs> and also, if you do that, you have several tiers. And of course, you can see my post uh, in early access, but you can also get free fluffy toy items in the mail and chocolate and handwritten stuff and discount on the fluffy toy website. The highest tier, you can even become a guest in one of our videos. And if you are not subscribed yet, consider doing this because this is free. And if you have money and are interested in supporting my channel, go subscribe and go join the channel membership or patreon thank you so much for watching and remember everybody, everybody can, can be, be kawaii bye bye